All right, YouTube. In uh, this video, we're going to be uh, troubleshooting Le Franken Jeep. Right? So, it's a problem I've had for a while. If you watched my original intro video on the Jeep, uh, you know that basically the fuel injectors aren't working. I don't know if it's an electronic problem or a mechanical problem. Uh, I just called Howell Fuel Injection Systems. They actually have talked me through what I need to do to troubleshoot this thing because I'm not an electronics technician. Uh, basically, it involves a light bulb and a wire coming off the coil. So the wire coming off the coil sends a signal to the computer to pulse the fuel injectors. And uh, basically, that's what makes them fire. So if that wire is getting a bad signal, that's what will cause this to happen. So let's test it out. Let's get started. And uh, let's see if we can get this thing to work today. That would be great, wouldn't it? Okay, so first things first, we're gonna be installing the battery that I took out uh, for the HHO generator. We're gonna be reinstalling that so that way we can get a proper voltage on the uh, wire itself. So here's the wire right here. Uh, I have it disconnected. It's a white wire. It comes from the computer, goes to the coil, which is underneath your camera, underneath the camera right now, so you can't see it. Oh. So I have these batteries wired in parallel, and before you say anything, I know this is mess, all right? It's a work in progress. There's a lot of engineering that I personally created for this to happen. And yeah, it looks really messy and shitty, but when you tow a 5,000 pound camper with a 30 year old vehicle, yeah, things tend to get a little hairy. That's why we're doing this. All right. This is ne negative. Actually, you know what? I don't like this. All right, now you can't really see what I'm doing, so let me cut the camera and show you. So part of the reason there's so many wires doing so many things is I actually have this set up here, right? So this is the negative wire, battery wire. This is the positive. So I have, um, bas basically it's a boat switch for batteries. You have one, one and two, or two. Now, this is one, this is two, and there's a third battery I can put in here as well that would be two. So, we're gonna do with one and two. Also, the way that I have the solar panels configured, one and two both have to be working in order for the solar panels to charge the bank. I did that on purpose because I wanted the solar, if I wanted to use the solar panels, I wanted it to charge more than one. Prolongs the life of all of them. All right, so, that's done. Let's see uh, if I got power. Okay, so if we look right up there, you see there's power. So there's power coming to it from the solar panels. So now the next step is to actually hit the switch. Click, all right, cool. Okay, so I have a length of wire cut and I have a light bulb. <clears throat> this light bulb should work fine, but just in case I'm gonna test it on the battery. Just to make sure. Oh goodness. Did not make this easy on myself. Yep. I don't know if you can even see that. 
There we go. Lights up. So now he's saying connect it to the positive terminal and go from the positive terminal to this wire. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be very difficult because so many moving things. And I don't know if you can see it. There's nothing. All right, let's switch. Make sure that fully test this thing. Nope, nothing. All right. So that's it. I'm gonna give this guy a call back and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and give him the bad news. All right, be back shortly. Okay, YouTube. So, as we've established now, I just got off the phone uh, with one of the techs. This is actually an electronic problem, and it's not in the engine bay at all. Uh, actually, even worse, it's immediately under the dashboard, which I don't know if you know much about the CJs. If you do, you already know. Uh, this is going to be a massive pain in the butt. This is directly, directly under the steering wheel. It's all just crammed up in there. Uh, it's an electronic um, signal modulator or filter for the uh, the fuel injectors. That's why they're not working. Is the modulator's broken? So I've ordered two. I'm going to get them tomorrow, and uh, when I get off work tomorrow evening, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, this is going to be a job. So just expect it. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. So I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Time to warp. Okay guys, so I have a problem. <laughs> uh, and this is kind of something that I wasn't expecting at all. So I'm sitting here at my table, right? I just got my hotspot renewed and just staring out blankly, you know, like a dummy. I do that sometimes. And I noticed something so I've been hearing a bird nest somewhere somewhere like somewhere like around here in this general area right well as it turns out it's like right there behind the headlight how do I know this you might ask because I just literally saw a bird fly up in here and I heard them the little chicks so like right up in there, somewhere. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can't see where I'm pointing the camera. Which is, which is gonna seriously, um, it's gonna seriously limit how fast I can uh, fix this. Even if I do fix it and then I start it, Shit. <laughs> um, I'll see what I can do. Okay, guys. So you can see the little bird right there. I don't know if you can hear the chicks. I just don't have the heart to disturb them. I really don't. 